Hey guys, you can see me 92 here for um, part two of the rebuild, no, the build up for Argo to get into the Premier League, become Premier League champions, and hopefully Champions League champions. As of now, we still haven't got any 70 plus players in the team, but um, we're in League One after that uh, brilliant season last year. Uh, well, we're hoping to bring in a new goalkeeper because this guy's getting a bit old now, he's about 35. I mean, Rose and Miller are still decent players. So we've still got that guy. We've got plenty of players. We've brought Clark in. And we've also got, uh, who else was it? Well Atkinson. Who has replaced Jarvis. Basically what we need is him out because he's not getting back in. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we get a new goalkeeper in and well, I will go on from that point in the season and we'll see how it goes on. Uh, I've got my signing of a goalkeeper in. I've got Axona out now. And I placed him with 66 rated Rhino Sop. I am hoping to bring in a 70 rated player this season, but we'll see how it goes. This transfer window is uh, now left. We've signed, we've sold Sarsevich, we've sold Fletcher, but we brought in Will Atkinson, Billy Clark, also Eddie Yemo, and Caicedo. Hopefully, this is a squad that will keep us in the least mid-table range in League One. As the season is so far, three games in. It's one win, two draws for Argo, or three points. We're fifteenth in the league. So far, the runaway team is Swindon Town. Well, the squad report isn't looking so healthy this time round. Uh, well. Aaron Taylor Sinclair's got to go. Andre Dozel's got two. Jervis's got one. Hey, God's got one. Even John Johnson's got one. How surprised. Let's carry on. I'll see you in September. Milton the season's Gold. getting harder and harder, guys. Oxtail. Nine games played all so far. 2 1, 1 draw, 6 loss, negative 5. Go difference, 7 points on the ball. Seeming like a tough season here. Yeah. I'll quickly show you the squad before, guys. And just to show Swindon you, nothing much has changed. As far as in, Majorano, Bradley, Miller, Taylor Sinclair's only got one goal. Andrew Dozell's got six. Jervis is two. So, the new signing, Marcos Casado, he's got five. In fifth, Bradford City. Graham Carey's not really got off to a start this season. Kieran Agard has won. In seventh, Lake Norian with 16 points. Overall, nothing eighth, else in the South league to with 15 points. Check up on the table. We'll see you in October. Peterborough United, one. Swindon Town, one. Now oh, no, back up to 16th place with 15 points. With a negative three goal difference. Not in the relegation zone near it currently, so it's four points clear from it. I'll show you the squad report quickly. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain more clean sheets for us corner. Bajorano has been performing, he's got an assist now. In third, Rochdale, Bradley's got a go. Miller's got in more assists. So Glass has been alright. Dozer's got six goals. Brokow's still in out. Perez went out. Cassetto's only got one. Grand Carey's got one but wants to leave. Edgard's got three. In eighth, rising Jerome the Carter table, Blackburn Road has scored a goal. Points. Bottom of the table, Fleetwood Town with seven points. Hello. And then reading up the table, that's about bottom, it. Port we'll see you in, in uh, November. At the end of November, one. we only picked Paris up a point. Three. Stern the whole Brands month of points. 
Schalke, 16. Tottenham Trying to get mid table, but we're Juventus, not doing a job. English Sheffield United are back on, on the top now with a joint. County, with joint points with Chesterfield, two of the clubs, Swindon and Southend South United, but they two. just lead by a goal. That's corner. Bristol Rovers, uh, two. Doing the same job as always. Rochdale, uh, one. Portsmouth, two. Well, Bradford City, nil. So got eight. Scunthorpe United, nil. AFC I Wimbledon, said I've got one. seven. Sheffield United, now for two nil. Months. Crawley Town, one. Walsall, Terry's actually two. scored now. Perth Argyle, one. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table, the remain game, Sheffield United the list with 36 points. Olaf in second, Swindon Town with 36 oh. points. And Ola in third, Adeyemo. South End United with 36 points. In December, we are just above the relegation zone by plus five goals. 22 points, but we're aiming to be mid-table-ish. Hopefully we can assure that. Southend United are running away now with five point leads. You never know what can happen. I've changed my keeper back to Ryan Orsop. It's not been that much in for more better. It's been about the same. Does that stop scoring, but he's on nine now. Yes, Casado is still injured three weeks ago. Gary started scoring with eight now. Agard's got three for five goals. Ola Adeyemo had a point in the team and he's got two goals. But we decided that we'd get good old Agard back in. Swindon Town are back on top of the league. South had a bad month. They only gained three points. Swindon are back on top of the table and I've got all the way down here. They have poor scoring, but not the worst conceders. So let's see how this carries on then. What's up still in the team? One go for Sonny Bradley. One go for him. Eleven for Dazelle. A Rouge also player the board bought in. Jefferson's now got three. Casado is back. He's got eight. Kevin's got nine. There you not scored. So yeah, nothing much different. Nothing Blissett still hasn't got his position. Everyone's played but Blissett. And the league equal with four teams. Uh, one win would... Well, hopefully we'll get 17th. And not likely to get promoted again this season. More likely to fight for off and stave off relegation. Hopefully we can bring Portsmouth into it. Fleetwood's already in it with us. So we'll have to see. Orsop's <laughs> still there. He's got one clean sheet. Matt doesn't need help. He just needs Jansen. Uh, Aaron Taylor Sinclair's got two goals at that last month. He's got three goals now. Because has got 12. And maybe a good psychiatrist. Jervis has got four. Casado 11. Kerry's lost form. A guard is in no form. I have to see how it goes. Oh, yeah, the end of March, but it was a bit of a surprise. Bristol Rovers. We two, managed to pick up eleven United, points. Two. Two. Port, Port Vale, one. Portsmouth, Bristol Rovers, Lake and Crawley Lake. all in the relegation Lake. zone now. Argo seventeen. Forty three points. Build two. up hopefully maybe Not even get to twelve if we're really two. lucky. Good reports going okay, but still no clean, not a lot of clean sheets, only one for Ryan also. With the appearances for the man that's leaving us for Bradford City, Diego Bajarano. Sonny Bradley, two goals. Miller still nothing. Aaron Taylor Sinclair with uh, six goals now, he was immense last month. Does that still on 12? Alam Araujo. He's a left back, but he's playing in midfield for me. 13 games. He's not doing the best, but he's doing all right. Jake Jarvis with 5. Marcos Casado with 11. Uh, Kerry's got 9. Not scored in a while, but Agard carried on getting doubles last month. He's got 9 now. Bottom of the table, Port Vale with 23 points. 
And then reading up the table, second bottom, Portsmouth. And let's see how we do this. Those results mean for tonight's league table. At the top we'll of the table, our the name, 15th in the league at the end of the season points. with 58 points. Well, compared to what we were two months ago with 32 points in 21st. In third, Swindon Town we finished the league on 58 in points. We will be seeing Blackburn or Sheffield next table, season. With Although we did beat Sheffield, which was sweet. Swindon, MK Dons, Middle or Burton will be joining them. The table, Crawley, Portsmouth, Bristol Rovers and Portfair will be leaving. Um, leave Crawley and Portsmouth. No, Leighton Orient came over. So if I go Leighton Orient and Fleetwood are staying in this division. Right on guys. In the season squad report, Ryan also has got 37 appearances with only two clean sheets. Might be needing a change of goalkeepers. As Rano's going to be leaving us at the end of the season. Well, he's going to be leaving us for Bradford City. And he only picked up an assist this year. Wasn't anything to scream and shout about. Two goals for Sandy Bradley. Nothing for uh, Gary Miller. Just defensive performances. <coughs> Aaron Taylor Sinclair only had one goal up until January. And then he started kicking off. Andrew Dozell. Ended up getting 14, top goal scorer of the season. Arrojo got two goals in two of the last games, actually, for the season. Jake Jarvis got five goals for the season, his 56 appearances. Marcos Cas Casado got uh, 14 goals for the season. Good January acquisition. Uh, So we've got a joint top goal scorer. Graham Carey with 11 goals. Better his season last year. This was very poor, but expected. Kieran Agard also with 11 goals. The new striker Billy Clark, who was just poor all season. Francisco Lorenzo, we also only played five games, one go. Rafael Lindstrom played eight games. Calamos with 39. Lovard Arscona was the main keeper at the start, only kept the clean, clean sheets. Cameron just performing. Will Atkinson, uh, 36 appearances. Ryan Taylor, only four. Jerome Cartier, one go. John Erickson, only played three times, never in the league. John Johnson, played three times in the league. Five, goal, five games and a goal. David Blissett never played. Oscar Felkeld got 38 appearances. Will probably be taking Bajorano's position. Mark McCallum played two games. So did Gary Sawyer. And that was the season, guys. See you next season.